Hi, Ian here from BeAWinningTrader.com and today is Tuesday the 4th of December. The market that I'm trading is the light crude oil market. I'm trading it off an 8 range chart and I'm using our price action methodology coupled with our unique software trading tool, namely the STB Trend Trader software. We entered a trade based on a lower vertical bar trading pattern high. So lower highs should indicate lower lows, which is a sign of weakness. And then the price bars were painted red by our software to confirm this. Presently, um, the trade, the, presently we've got an open equity of $340. Um, our stop is at 5408, our empty was at 5387. I'm now just going to bring my stop down to at least a break even trade, because I'm not going to give away um, all that amount of equity. Um, certainly I'm not going to let an open equity of 340 or 50 or 70 dollars go into a losing trade um, in the market I have a, have a, a daily target of 500 dollars I'm just drawing in our vertical bar trading pattern confirmed highs and lows so if you may call them swing highs and lows we have a very defined set of rules that determines when a high and low is in place and based on that then we can determine when or where our stop is and number one we can determine at the time when a market is in um, one particular trend or another in other words a downtrend or an uptrend um, $420 $410 of open equity this minute in time um, markets going quite well I'm certainly going to bring my stop down a little bit lower here and lock in some profits to give me a free trade um, so obviously um, I can't strategically at this minute in time our last confirmed vertical bar trading pattern lower high is up here. We haven't got a lower high um, anywhere here as yet, and that leaves it quite um, difficult because um, any time that I any anywhere that I would put my stop, rather, it would be in a non-strategic place. Now this is the first trade I've done today. The trade was entered, um, so it was around about um, half past twelve UK time. We're now at fourteen o five. So an hour and a half later, the market has opened. Um, again, not that I trade the pivots, but the pivot point is 52.99. It's at 53.35. It would be very, very nice of this market if it would go to that level. Um, again, I've got my 530, 540 of open equity. So this is very nice. Um, I hopefully, if it goes another little bit, I want to give it plenty of wiggle room because although I've got a daily target of 500 dollars. If, if, if there's days that the market gives you much more, take it. So I'm, I'm going to bring my stop on down here, folks. So I'm going to lock in, lock, lock in at least $300 of this. And again, I'm bringing my stop down, and it's in a non-strategic place because if the market does bounce, it should technically bounce down and give me a, a further lower vertical bar trading pattern high. It hasn't done that as yet. And therefore I am you know I'm increasing my risk of being stopped out and why do I not want to pull out and, and lock in my profits because this could be a trade that goes on for a thousand dollars could be a trade that goes on for two thousand dollars we don't know um, but we certainly want to try and maximize trades such as this and um, our software is able to do that coupled with our methodology um, so therefore we want to certainly be able to um, be able to um, try and take as much out of the trade as possible. Now, 87. This market looks pretty good at the minute for me on the short side. So I've now $370. There's $400 locked in there now. So that would leave me, um, of course, I've got 640 uh, If you're averaging $500 a day over a week, that's $2,500. Um, two and a half thousand dollars a week which is well over a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year it's very nice now again I'm not advocating everybody to try and go for a target of five hundred dollars just because that is my target minimum target on a daily basis and there we go I've been pretty aggressive here, folk. My entry point was 53.87. My stop's now at 53.37. It's quite possible this market will go up and even go lower, but and it means that I could be stopped out. But look, I've got my $500, and that's what it's all about, hitting my target and saying, thank you, Mr. Crude Oil, thank you very much, and leave it. I'm not going to trade it later on. No, if I get stopped out, 
I get stopped out. If it goes a little bit lower, I'll bring my stop lower, and whatever it is, eventually I will bring it um, to a point that I am going to get stopped out. And I'm probably not giving it an awful lot of wiggle room, as I said to you. There, there's, a, there's a possibility this market may go to a pivot point. Who knows? Prices will tell. And again, all we're doing is reading those prices. All right, the market's bounced 10 or 12 points. Getting close to our uh, my, to my stop level at 53 37 29 30 31 certainly there's quite a Quite a quite a war going on around these prices here at the minute between the the, the, the bid and the ask price here, folk. Quite a war going on, but again, we're only more in, we're interested just in what's happening with the chart reading here. So perhaps the market will go down. Maybe I may be able to lock in another hundred dollars. That'll be a little brucey bonus, so to speak. And it's a matter of taking more out of the market or as much as possible because you need that for times that the market's not as kind to you. Because don't you know be rest assured rather that we are going to have losing trades but the whole secret is having minimalistic um, losses and having much greater profits and providing you can keep your losses small there is nothing wrong with taking a profit taking a profit you'll never go broke taking a profit providing when you are wrong that you don't have massive losses and again we're just trading the price action we're trading the methodology um, our vertical bar trading pattern and our price action methodology which works all markets and all time frames but I've been trading crude oil for some time and it's a lovely market you only having to look at one market you're not having to look at multiple markets and with not having to look at multiple markets it means you can concentrate and you're not going to miss a particular trade I quite often see myself doing a live trading rooms and you're looking at one market and you're moving over to look at another market and you're looking at another market and all of a sudden one of the markets that, that, that you should have been um, staying with that's the market that has made the move and it's the move that you should have been in trading but by lo and behold it is now gone and I do not like chasing a trade just like I would not enter a trade in down round here now I entered the trade when we got our or when we got our entry point which was a lower vertical bar trading pattern high you can see exactly where we entered the trade Market came up, came down, made a lower confirmed vertical bar trading pattern high. It came back up, it made a lower high than this high. Red bars, and there was the, you know, there, there, there's our area in round here um, that we were able to enter the market. And we've really two sets of rules. We have um, to determine our vertical bar trading pattern highs and lows. In other words, that we can draw. Um, this here as a high and that there is a high that is a low and why we haven't got any um, very bar trading pattern highs or lows in down here is because they haven't been confirmed but we have two two main rules we have rule which we call a and rule b uh, or rule one and two but we, we call them rule a and rule b and it is those rules that we use that determines um, when we have got a very good bar trading pattern high and low in place we have a, a, a third a setup bar which is a slightly more aggressive approach that can be used when trading the likes of the futures market such as like crude oil now here's a market's going on very nicely now folk for us it's now giving in um, 680 690 dollar open equity um, maybe i can bring another few pips out of this market bring it down to 33 um, i'm being very aggressive with my approach there folk to be honest that's going to give me um 540 dollars probably been a little bit close to the market because I've not given it much room I'm just hoping that perhaps it is going to go down and find this support down around the 5300 level um, so if it does do that again sooner or later I will be stopped out but I've now I've now exceeded my daily target um, so I will if I'm stopped out and this is the very first trade of the day so beautiful to do this even before the main US market opens
and again I'm only trading one contract so it's not multiple contracts trading multiple contracts here folk would make it a little bit easier because I could pull profit in one of my contracts to justify me trading and I would then let the other um, the, the remaining um, balance of my um, positions my contracts um, I would let them run and certainly bring them to a break-even scenario and therefore you wouldn't be holding a stop as tight as where I have presently have it now as I say the problem that we've got here is we haven't got an actual proper retracement as we speak and no doubt that will happen and it will actually give us a further vertical bar trading pattern lower high than this high up here so are we going to get as low as this 52.99 the 5300 level you know it, it's looking you know, that it's, it's starting to get a little bit of support in around these areas Again, beawinningtrader.com, that is the, the, the name of our company, that's our website. We are doing regular um, free workshops, and we're doing a free workshop uh, on a trading just specifically like crude oil. And we certainly, if it's a, if it's a market that, that um, if it's a, a market that you have not looked at before, and it's a market that you perhaps or or perhaps you have looked at before and have found it exceptionally hard to trade i can assure you with the methodology in which we have um, you will be pleasantly surprised because we know at all times what our risk is we know exactly where our setup is in other words where our entry points and where our exit points are at all times and that's very important you must know what your initial risk is when you enter a trade no matter the methodology from which you use because if you do not strategically know what your risk is then you cannot um, go forward and trade as a professional I just pause the video for a few seconds there and so let's trade around 30 we're about to be stopped out here at 53.33 locking in 500 or $600 here locking in $540 so another four or five pips and we're out of this trade but it has not been bad um, considering it has been um, let me tell you exactly when I entered that trade time wise I entered that trade probably just coming up to about 12.45 p.m. UK time so a little over an hour and a half and it's been a very orderly market it has not made any wild swings it has been trading beautifully um, I don't like the video going on too long and I know we're in some 13 or 14 minutes at this minute in time um, just watching this trade but I just want to see uh, number one I, I want the video to be live if we are stopped out and number two I want um, to be able to demonstrate how we maximize a trade as much as possible here's a market starting to go a little bit lower again and you know with six hundred and seventy dollars of open equity now um, 640 you know if we thought it was oh, hindsight's a wonderful thing folk if we thought that that's as far as the market was going to go we would obviously just close out the trade we just close the trade but we're obviously giving it a little as much wiggle room as possible to see can this market get down to perhaps this pivot point which would, would be perhaps a support point again um, we do not trade pivots um, based on our methodology but we do use them certainly in the futures markets as perhaps areas that if they break through one they may go to another we're in a very fast moving market this is an eight range bar so that means that every time say for example this price would move from 53.17 low to a high of 53.25 once you go to 53.26 there will be a new bar formed now there we have $750 folks so I'm definitely going to lock in a little bit more profit There we 21 from 87 that's 660 dollars i've locked in 750 dollars it might go a little bit lower um it's been a it's been a, a lovely trade considering it's been one trade sometimes you have to fight it's like anything when you're doing work folks sometimes it comes easy sometimes it's not so easy but sometimes it's a matter of, of having two or three trades to to get your profit 
um, but certainly in this particular trade here now I've locked in and exceeded my daily target um, just go a little bit lower it may not get to the pivot go a little bit lower and let me see if I can lock in $700 700 would be 17 let me bring this down to 17 now by doing that by doing that folk it means that I am certainly giving myself little little scope for a bounce in other words I'm just sort of saying to myself right you're bringing your stop right down um, behind your, your your trade here you know $790 open equity I have 700 of that market bounces a little bit if it goes up to 17 I've locked in $700 so we're, we're at $800 now $820 and you know if this market bounces around this level here, it's at 5300, 860. Order, 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 order filled. There, I locked in $800, folks, on that move. Okay, so that is my target set for today. It's exceeded my 500 daily target. Um, that was $500, um, $530 or $40 yesterday, $800 today. So the first two days of the um, trading days of December were up $1,300. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, it's beawinningtrader.com. More information, send me an email, please. Info at beawinningtrader.com. We are having a, a, a workshop within the next four or five days, specifically uh, in trading light crude oil. But thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.